Good day viewers, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Kevin Easy and I'm Echo Jeremiah. Today I'll give you a brief explanation of NECO 2022 chemistry practical. But before we go over to the practical mm -hmm. proper, we start with the preparation of some of the reagents. So please, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do that immediately. Thank you. So here are the instructions. It says 150 cm cube of triazonitrate 5 acid solution in a bottle labeled AN. The acid solution, which should be the same for all candidates, will contain 9.50 cm cube of concentrated HNO3, that is triazonitrate 5 acid per dm cube of solution. Then the B part of it is 150 cm cube of sodium triazocarbonate 4 solution in a bottle labeled BN. The solution, which should be the same for all candidates, will contain 4.20 grams of sodium triazocarbonate for per dm cube of solution. So we'll go over to the preparation aspect of it and how to calculate or determine the concentration of each of these solution. So here is how you calculate the concentration of the reagent. According to the instruction there, uh, in regards to AN, which is your nitric acid, and which is your HNO3 nitric acid. It says major add 9.50 cm cube of the acid, then per dm cube. Okay, per dm cube. A dm cube, one dm cube means 1000 cm cube also. All right, it means you should major add 9.50 cm cube of the acid then add it to water and you dilute to a thousand cm cube. now if you do that what will be the concentration of the reaction you can use this formula to get the concentration of the solution which is c1 v1 equal to c2 v2 now take note this c1 is the concentration of the stock solution the nitric acid you are measuring the uh, 9.50 cm cube form the molar concentration is the word c1 to get the molar concentration though all um stock solution of each and they come with a molar concentration of 15.8 mole that's the molar concentration of the stock solution so you can go further to confirm that using this formula as the molar concentration of the stock solution each and three is equal to 10 times p times d where p is the percentage purity and d is density over the molar mass of the stock solution okay so 10 times p which is the percentage purity you can get that on the assay on the stock solution you can see it there uh, for hno3 it is 70 times the density which is 1.42 over the molar mass of HNO3 which is 63 so if you do your arithmetic you have 15.8 mole which is the concentration of the stock solution so C1 use 15.8 mole as concentration of your word C1 times the volume of C1 take note we are using 9.50 cm cube which is 9.50 cm cube equal to c2 we are looking for c2 by the time we finish diluting it what will now be the final concentration which is c2 times the final volume it's 1000 cm cube okay so if you multiply this you have 150.1 equal to C2 times 1000. So we divide both sides with 1000. Then we we'll arrive at the final answer. So the concentration of our nitric acid is 0 0.150 mole per dm cube. So this is our concentration of AN. The control of AN. So if you measure at 9.50 cm cube and you dilute to a thousand dm cube this will a thousand one dm cube rather which is one thousand cm cube this will be the final concentration of the solution so this is the concentration of our an 
All right, we'll move over to calculate the concentration of our BN. Your BN is your base, your carbonate, which is sodium carbonate, sodium triazo carbonate 4. All right. Now, for you to, uh, according to the instruction there, it says weigh out 4.20 grams of sodium triazo carbonate 4 and um, dilute to a dm cube that is 4.20 grams of it per dm cube so if you weigh out 4.20 grams of cost of um, washing soda which is sodium triazo carbonate 4 and you dilute to one dm cube what then will be the concentration of the solution is very easy this is the formula you use concentration is equal to mass over molar mass over molar mass times 1000 over volume okay first you get the molar mass of Na2CO3 okay the uh, mass of sodium is 23 carbon is 12 and oxygen is 16 so if you want to get the molar mass of Na2CO3 Sodium is 23, that's 23 times 2 plus carbon is 12 plus oxygen is 16, 16 times 3. Okay, once you've done that, the uh, molar mass becomes 106 grams per mole. Okay, so now you go back to your equation. Concentration equal to the mass. What's the mass we're measuring is 4.20 grams over the molar mass, which is 106 times grams per mole times 1000 over the volume, which is a thousand cm cube. All right, when you do your arithmetic here, the final answer you have is 0.0396 mole per dm cube so the concentration of our bn is 0 0.0396 mole per dm cube so this is the concentration of our bn all right why this is the concentration of the an and this is the concentration of our bn so now we we'll go over to determine the theoretical end point when we use this and this as the word concentration all right, now to determine the end point of the reaction, the theoretical end point of the reaction, you do this. First, you get a balanced equation. Now, the equation is between nitric acid HNO3 and sodium triazocarbonate 4. Now, take note, one of the chemical properties of an acid is reaction with carbonate. When an acid reacts with carbonate, it gives you the corresponding sort of the acid it gives you water and it gives you carbon dioxide gas all right you can go further to balance this equation by adding two year and then we add two year the equation is balanced all right then to get the end point of the reaction you use your, uh, your equation which is ca va over cb VB equals to NA over NB. Where CA is the concentration of the acid, we got to be 0 0.150 mole per dm cube. Then VA is the volume of acid, which is our end point we are looking for, it is unknown. The average volume of acid used. YCB is the concentration of the base which is 0 0.0396 mole per dm cube and our vb is the volume of the base that's the one you pipette using your pipette after now we'll go back to the practical section of it you will see it and it is 25 cm cube pipette we're using or you can use the measuring cylinder of 25 and the way you measure at 25 cm cube of it then our Na is the number of moles of acid. We can get it here. This is our acid. The number of moles is 2 here. Then our Nb 
number of moles of your BN, which is the sodium triazocarbonate 4 is 1. Then all you have to do now is substitute this back into your equation, which is 0 0.150 times VA over 0 0.0396 times 25 equal to 2 over 1. When you cross multiply, because we want to make VA the subject of the formula, we have 0 0.0396 times 25 times 2 is equal to 0 0.150 times VA. Alright? So if you multiply this, you have 1.98 equal to 0 0.150. VA, so we divide both sides by the coefficient of VA to make VA the subject of the formula. So if you do that, you have your average volume of acid used theoretically to be 13.2 cm cube. So this is the average volume of acid you should be expecting within, the, within this range, 13.2 cm cube of HNO3. So this becomes the end point of the reaction. All right, we'll start with the preparation of the reagent. we we'll start with AN. AN is your nitric acid, HNO3, trials nitrate 5 acid. And the instruction there says you measure out 9.50 cm cube of nitric acid per dm cube. This is a standard volumetric flask. It has, it is 1,000 ml capacity. That's one dm cube, okay? But if you don't have a standard volumetric flask, then you can use a measuring cylinder. Here is also a measuring cylinder that's 1,000 ml capacity. But since we have a standard volumetric flask, we'll go with this one. Now, the first thing you should do is you add water to it first, probably to, um, to the middle or half of it. And then we measure out five 9.50 cm cube of nitric acid. So we'll go over to major. 9.50 cm cube of the nitric acid. And then we add it to the already what the water we have here. Please you ensure you put on your hand glove because this acid is very concentrated. And after that, we dilute to the mark here, to the 1000 mark. Now you ensure that when you close to the mark, you take it slowly so that it doesn't get above it and take readings at the main course by removing your funnel first. Alright, you can remove your funnel and take your reading now. So this is our AN and the concentration of it is 0 0.150 mole per dm cube. All right, we'll go back to the preparation of our BN. Our BN is washing soda, also known as sodium carbonate. And the instruction there says, you weigh out 4.20 grams of sodium carbonate per dm cube. So this is how you prepare it. You get um, a weighing balance. In weigh out 4.20 grams of it.
and you dissolve a little quantity of water then you stir to ensure that it dissolves properly in it then this is your BN also 1000 ml capacity so you add it to your BN and then you dilute to the mark here Okay, we're there. So this is our BN. Okay, and it's made by dissolving 4.20 grams of caustic soda per dm cube. And the concentration of this is 0.0396 mole per dm cube. Now I'll go back to the next one, which is the preparation of our phenolphthalein and methyl orange. Um, if you want to know how to prepare your phenolphthalein and your methyl orange, you can click on the link in the description below. There's a link in the description below. Just click on it. It will lead you over to VM. I did a, lit, a short video on how to prepare your phenolphthalein indicator and your methyl orange indicator. So now I want to go back to the titration in proper. Here we have our bullet, our retort stand, our AN, and also our BN. This is the acid. So we pour the acid into the bullet to the zero mark. Make sure and ensure that this place is cock. It's above so you can remove a little. Here is it. So go back to our BN. Your BN is always in your conical flask. You prepare it with 5 cm cube of um, BN or you can use a measuring cylinder to measure your BN. And you add it to your conical flask. Then we are using methyl orange as our indicator. So you can add two to three drops. And here we go. We have a golden yellow. Our end point will be orange color. But then you can you may want to measure in, uh, measure your base into two conical flags so that you can compare the color at the end of the reaction. This we can compare the colors at the end of the reaction. So we start titrating until we have a good in uh, an orange color as the end point of the reaction. Yes, and this is the end point of the reaction, which is orange color. You see it's quite different from this one. And our reading here is 14.50, 14 14.50. So you should do this like three to four times. These are rough. If you do that, you should be having between 13.20 um, to 14.50.